Hello again, viewers. This is episode 64 of my Let's Play War in the East. I am Gilmer, and I am playing the Soviets. And at present, it is June 4th, 1942. Um, and we're sitting in a mud turn. And I think I've pretty much done everything I'm going to do, except I might actually move some of these units out of being an area that they are exposed I don't want them to be viciously and brutally attacked so I might just move a couple of them back and I hope you hear me well I know that there have been some people who said they couldn't hear me and I uh, hope you're hearing very well I'm talking right into the microphone so if you can't hear me, just let me know, and I'll try to speak up even more than I'm doing now. And next turn is going to be a clear turn. I actually had it on the screen I wanted it on. It says uh, forecast is clear. So as soon as I hit process turn, the Germans are going to be attacking fairly quickly. And hopefully we'll hold them in most places. I'm not confident in holding them in every single place I've got a feeling that this little area in between here is going to be pushed back somewhat I don't know if they'll be able to push me out of Kiev or not that's that's an actual headquarters let's take him off and let's move him Let's move him, I said, and then we can, well, he, I, these guys are all in fortified areas, actually. Might be a good idea not to move them, since I went to all the trouble of building up their fortified units that they're currently matched with. So... So, so, see, I could attack, but that's what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine to one odds, somewhat, but he's got the entrenched uh, modifier that's probably going to help him a whole lot. And I'll probably lose. So, I'm not going to attack him. It's okay. We've been talking for about three minutes now. Now it's time to go ahead and let it happen. Let whatever's going to happen happen. As I'll reach way across the desk to get my drink. It took a couple of days off. Work sucks. Last two days have been pretty rough. Yeah, here they come. Shit. That's not a good, that does not bode well at all. A lot of interdic interdictions, though. That'll help. How much, I don't know, but it'll help some. I like the way this looks down here. See, I bet a core is sitting in there. Maybe two core. Damn, damn, damn. See, he's, he's almost surrounded. I probably should have done something with them. And I don't know if you can see it, but we, we're in black, black screen mode now. With my little cursor, though. So that tells you something's going on. A little cursor with a little 
doesn't it have the old, I don't know if you remember the old time glass. They changed it to a little eternity circle or something that just constantly goes round and round and round. It eventually stops, but I kind of miss the hourglass turning over and emptying and turning over and emptying and turning over and emptying. Did I say this is episode 64? It's episode 64. 64 and it's turn 52 or so, 50, 52, 53. And um, as you can tell, I've already had several routes. This being a clear turn, clear weather turn. That's okay. We'll get our turn. The Germans always get the first turn in the good weather. And then we always are able to counterattack at that point, which is what we'll do. We'll make them wish they had never took, taken on the uh, Soviet Union, the motherland. I wonder why they call theirs the motherland and the Germans call theirs a fatherland. That must be some kind of cultural thing. But anyway, they're going to wish just like in real life they never attacked the Soviet Union I hear a lot of marching I haven't seen a lot of attacking, but I do expect them to attack a lot. I think this whole amount of time where they just sit and it, it's almost like they're waiting. It's they're calculating all the attacks they want to, the AI wants to perform, is what I think it's doing. So, the longer it thinks, the more attacks I think are coming. Is the way I've always looked at it. I don't know if I have enough units to cover the whole front, but I don't know that they do either. And I have more men in the uniform than they do, twice as many men in uniform, so I should be able to I should be able to build more units in them and have more strength than them, just like historically happened. And that's what I plan on doing. But I almost feel like I gotta choose what area of combat I want to do whether it's going to be in the south or in the middle or in the north and I've kind of decided that if I try to make a breakthrough it's going to be in the south because I've, I've mentioned this in several episodes before there's a lot more open land in the south a lot more areas that are very hard for anybody to defend and it's a lot easier on the attackers. The north has a lot of swamp, a lot of rivers, a lot of, you know, woods, a lot of areas to defend in. And it's, it makes it tougher. And it's not not quite as big. You know, it's a little bit more con in condensed area. So it, you have more density of units up there, if you ask me. The south, it's kind of, especially with all those mountains, it's, it's kind of split in a way. You know, they either have to put them on one side or the other side and defend, you know, which which side you're going in. And if I go the extreme south, that's where a lot of the other nations' units are going to be as well, and they are easier to break. I think we've seen that the Romanians are easier to break than the Germans, which was historically the same as well. And that's what I plan on doing is I plan on attacking into modern-day Romania, um, to Belgrade, to uh, Ploesti, and in the towns and cities are, that are surrounding them. And hopefully that will be a strategy that works out.
which means they might just be kind of play, playing kind of a defensive game in the central and north areas and funneling more and more troops south to see if I can't use them as, as breakthrough units and strengthen strengthen the lines up and you know have have units all over the place pouring through whatever lines I break through. Hopefully that's that's the plan. The weak underbelly of the German forces. I don't know if that's true. If it's any weaker. It just seems like it's weaker. Okay. Now the screen's back up and it was so dark before and now it's so bright my eyes are adjusting to the brightness of the screen again. See, like this unit here, he's at a crossroads. He seems very, damn, very, uh, this unit, this, this stack of units probably going to get attacked next. See, there's no movement in that one. There were no movement points in that stack. See how I can get, I can uh, attack that unit and probably get some good uh, disposition of forces. I'm, I'm a little concerned about the number of troops I've lost, so I've lost four million. That seems like a lot. Hold. Hold. Damn it. See, this is. I, I got a feeling there's going to be a lot of that. Historically, the summer of 42 was another kind of German offensive, and they put a lot of hurt on the Russian units and, or the Soviet units and uh, pushed them back and pushed them around a little bit in 42. And from what I'm reading on some of the threads on the Matrix forums, the Soviets spent a lot of 42 in a lot of attacking, and a lot of it was fruitless attacking against superior forces, and they ended up losing a lot of troops that way. I'm hoping that I will be able to do a better job of that and not go crazy attacking everything. But then again, I kind of, uh, you know, the way they did it worked. Whether, you know, obviously they didn't really care for how many lives their own troops lost, but, and these are just make-believe men on my computer screen at this point, even though they represent, you know, people who fought and died in the war, in World War II, but I, I, I just don't think I'm going to be attacking things like that that one stack that had 20 it said it had 27 power I can't figure out how to show their defensive power I know how to show my defensive power I don't think it shows it for them unless I do a lot of reconnaissance I think I haven't done a lot of reconnaissance and maybe I should maybe that would help But I knew that I knew this term was going to be long. It's running probably about eight minutes so far, and we've only seen like six or seven attacks. So I've got a feeling they're going to do a lot more attacking. Uh, 
retreats better than route. See, if I could pin a lot of their troops up against that range of mountains there and get them cut off from supply except whatever supply they could get coming straight over the mountains which I think is next to nothing I could I could uh, that would be very similar to pocketing them Love to attack that unit right there, just because, or that unit. I, w I don't want to attack that unit. See, look at that, 17, and it has 50 movement points. Damn. See, they look like they're almost as strong as they were right at the beginning of the war. Some of their units. Which really shouldn't be so. And I'm not sure I'm too thrilled with this little excursion. Although it looks like I could cut them off to a certain extent. See how if I could pin a bunch of German units in this area and have control of this little section and then the little section up here, which is very similar, I would think that they would be out of supply. There'd be no way they could get supply straight over those mountains. shit my TV just went out it just went <sighs> that was weird the weather doesn't look bad outside so I don't know why it did it let's say I'm getting no signal now I get my cable signal from the same place that I get my internet signal but my internet seems to be fine my cable seems to be having issues yeah here we go now it's back again that was definitely weird It's like the second time this has done this in a couple of months. Of course, the last time the weather was really bad and lightning struck really close while I was at work. I came home and it looked like this. This time I don't see any bad weather outside. I mean, it looks like it's overcast, but it doesn't look like it's storming or raining any or at all. Let me just see. Everything is to be announced. Yeah, it's not working very good at all. It's Yeah, 
Okay, never mind. It's still working. It's just the uh, the guides the the guide down below that tells you what's playing isn't working. So this uh, German turn has been going on for 14 minutes. How do you like that? I don't like it too much when it's sitting there routing. It's routing all my damn forces. Don't like that at all. I need some of my units to start showing a little backbone. It's okay. When it's my turn, I'm gonna do the same to some of their st some of their units. That unit looks right. See how I, I've got kind of a little foothold right there. That looks like it's about to. No, I was thinking it was about to be my turn. It's going it's for six minutes now. Hope you can hear me. I, I know I kind of, as I get to talking, I start talking a little lower and a little lower and a little lower, and you can't hear me. So, come on. Give me a shot. So they were planning on attacking some more. Oh, damn it. There you go. I probably won't hold. He didn't. Oh, damn you. Damn. Even when they're less than two to one, they push me back. Stop attacking me. <laughs> Shit. Five thousand men, really? is very very long 18 minutes feels like it's been 45 minutes because nothing good is happening oh 60,000 men surely will hold thank you no way they hold 8,000 damn men
Maybe I should have played the Germans. Of course, nobody plays the Soviets. Hey, hey, it's my turn. That took 22 minutes. 22 minutes of anguish for my units being slaughtered. I'm 40, 4 million. It's starting to worry about that. So there's really not much I'm going to be able to do. Now, that's not, that's not right. That's a bit more like it. don't have much time to better retreat Oh, yeah. 100,000 to 12,000 and they hold. That's all right. So anyway, uh, Let's see what the damage is down here. See, after everything's said and done, I still have units pretty much blanketing the area. I don't agree with that. I would have had more than 30, 30 40,000. It's not all fun and games for them. Oh, 
two reserve units. Folks, I think that's going to do it for tonight. Even though we're godless commies, please pr please pray for us. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.